The 2017 MacBook Pro has not changed much since last year's model, but what is my opinion on it? Let's start with the screen. The screen has a, a 200 nit brightness increase compared to last year's model, and I'm sure that it will be enough for most users, and I'm sure that most users will even lower their brightness just to get that little bit extra battery life out of it. The viewing angles on the screen are also phenomenal. No matter which way you look at it, from the top down, bottom up, side in, no matter how you look at it, it looks great. You could be sharing a video with your friend and you can still see what's happening. Just like the speakers in last year's model, these are loud. I'm gonna play a little clip on 50% volume and another clip on 100% volume, just so you can get an idea of how loud they are. Um, but these are definitely loud enough to have a party by yourself in the house. Clothes are optional. very silent when doing normal tasks. The fan only kicks up when you start to use more intensive applications like Photoshop or start to play some games. Like all Apple products, if you want to upgrade something in it, you're going to pay for it. For an extra 128 gigabytes on the MacBook Pro, you're going to pay $180. And for $99, you could get yourself a 250 gigabyte uh, external Samsung T3 drive. And if you find yourself in lack of USB-C ports, you can either go with the dongles or you could spend another $1,100 just to get two more USB ports and some more power and a bigger screen. There are only three things I don't like about this MacBook, but I don't hate. One thing is the trackpad. While I like the big size, one thing I do not like is the force touch. I often find myself frustrated when I'm trying to drag something on the desktop and it simply won't work. While we are in 2017 and the webcam is only 720p, Alexa, turn on my desk lights. Okay. As long as you have enough lighting, for whatever you're going to use this camera for, it's most likely going to get the job done. The final thing is the battery. I found myself getting between three hours and six hours of battery life, depending on what I was doing. Um, I was playing games, editing videos, Photoshop, and just browsing online. And I found myself getting between three to six hours on that. Now, while the battery life is gonna change from user to user and what they're using it for, the battery is gonna be sufficient enough for most users to get through their day, as long as you don't expect to be playing games or something like that for the whole day. What do you guys think about the 2017 MacBook Pro? Leave a comment down below and come back tomorrow for another Mac video. I'll see you then.